bulk of the rain should start to pull away as we head into the afternoon hours. We will still see a chance for a few showers late morning, early afternoon, but by around 3, 4 o'clock, much of that rain is pulling away, if not a little bit earlier in a few spots. Can't 100% rule out a bit of mist or drizzle lingering around in a few areas later on today, but the bulk of the rain should be away as we head towards the evening hours. But then the wind starts to pick up and those cooler temperatures start to work their way in. We'll be sunny tomorrow, but we're going to start off the day with wind chill values in the upper 20s in the metro and some lower 20s inland as we begin our Sunday. And then tomorrow afternoon only feeling like around 40 to 43 for a uh, feels like temperature. Air temperature tomorrow should be around 53 degrees during the afternoon, but obviously a quite cold day on Sunday, especially with that wind. Here's what the wind's going to do as we go into Sunday. It starts to increase, especially along the coast where we could see some gusts nearly 50 miles per hour. Sunday afternoon winds still pretty gusty, starting to fade a bit Sunday evening and becoming more northeast. That's going to be important for Monday because we're still going to have a 25 to 30 mile per hour wind at times Monday, and that'll keep the tide up, especially late into the day on Monday. When we could see a tide around 5.4 feet for Sewell's Point, which is right at the top of minor, pretty much right at the bottom of moderate tidal flooding. Uh, for the Hampton Roads area. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind today with the water level in the Currituck Sound may move around a bit thanks to that southerly wind. Could see a lower water level Ducks Southern Shores area and a higher water level towards Knott's Island and Back Bay with that water just being blown by that southerly wind. Same thing for Dolly's Corners in the Sandbridge area of Virginia Beach. Some slightly higher water levels there. In the Outer Banks tomorrow for Sunday with that northerly wind, we'll likely see some rough surf and some minor tidal flooding into areas near Nags Head. Uh, Manio could see a little bit too. From the Oregon Inlet area south, that's where I think we'll see some bigger problems with a little bit of overwash possible on NC-12. We could also see some sound side impacts south of Avon because of that wind blowing the water here over the Pamico Sound into the Hatteras and Hatteras Village area. So keep that in mind for Sunday uh, as you make your way along NC-12, could encounter some areas where there's a little bit of overwash. Otherwise, Look at the forecast as we head into Monday. Some calmer weather, but still a little breezy. Tuesday looks pretty nice. Rain does return by late in the week, but temperatures do start to warm up a bit, upper 50s to low 60s.